My blog talks about fashion, my personal style, lifestyle and a lot of beauty trends. I think what makes Mumbai such a great city is the fact that it has so many diverse cultures and when I was staying at the IDC Grand Central Hotel I realized that the entire diversity is reflected in their menus of the various different restaurants. So I dug deeper to find out what is it that inspires the different chefs of this hotel. And I found out that they draw inspiration from some of the most iconic Mumbai eateries. So I decided to take the food Sherpa trail with Chef Avni. What she had planned for me was super duper exciting because Mumbai has this unique uh, Iranian cafe culture. So we decided to go to Kayani and Company which is an Iranian cafe that's over 100 years old. Can you imagine going to a cafe that's over a century old? We got to try out the various different options, starting from the naan katai to the pan maska to the egg burji. Definitely something that stood out uh, to me and I wish I could just pack it with me and get back home was the chai, which was, like I said, absolutely delicious. Mava cake was extremely soft and it was, it was it had this really peculiar taste of nutmeg which I absolutely love. So after trying out all of this amazing food, I was actually looking forward to going back to the hotel and looking at what is the chef's interpretation of this entire delicious cuisine at the Frederick's Lounge. This is uh, our recreation on what we just tasted at uh, Kiani's. Here we have uh, the mava cake, uh, this is the khari biscuit. This is the surti and uh, this is the nankatai and the famous van maska. I think it's absolutely incredible that IDC Hotels brings the most authentic cuisines from the most iconic places in Mumbai to the restaurants and hotels and I think that itself is responsible luxury.